Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Hi. I'm really great. Thank you. Nice. Welcome to the English class. Hello, Margarita. How are you? Hi, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. Very happy. Tomorrow is Friday and then Saturday. That's good. <laughs> Okay, um, we're going to wait just one or two more minutes so the rest of the class come, okay? Okay. Hello, good evening, everybody that is coming. Welcome to the class. Okay. Good night. Hello, good evening. How's it going? Good evening. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, first question as usual is how is everybody doing in the platform? Did you finish the midterm test already? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, very good. I hope everybody has finished that one. But anyways, we're going to check uh, the platform right now. That is the first thing that we're going to do. So um, okay. let's see. Um, Lorena, could you please help me reading this objective? Uh, uh, I don't see the resolution. My my computer has. Okay, don't worry. Gisela, uh, help us, please. But they have a trouble with the when when learn lesson objective. Learn how to describe problem in English using count and non countable noun. By the end of this class, you will learn how to describe problems. For phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You also learn about common nouns, including water, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, ATC, and understand how to tell if a noun is count or non-count, an English or a comprehension audio including. Okay, so so this was about too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and things like that, right? Uh, the first one is going to be like the little explanation about count and non-count nouns. Of course, you know this already. Good evening, and, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you. Okay, this is the first knowledge check. So, um, as you can see there, uh, it's just a matter for you to check what is the correct word. So, do you have any questions about this uh, exercise? Mm. No, I work in, no. in the exercise. Okay. Okay, so uh, this one is kind of kind of easy, I guess. Okay, the next one uh, is going to be another lesson objective. Uh, Margarita, could you please help us read the objective? Yes. Continue building and in English conversational skills by learning English expressions of quantity. By the end of this class, you will be able to discuss trans transportation service using adverbs of quantity, including enough, many, fewer, and more. Practice incorporation, incorporating expressions of quantity in phrases, such as there aren't enough buses or we need more public transportation. There should be fewer cars and there isn't enough parking downtown. Very good. So this is like uh, 
when we were talking about opinions on how we can improve or do certain things. And of course, we had the grammar of too many, fewer, uh, too much, and things like that. Uh, then we have the knowledge check about this one, uh, where you have to check the correct answer about, well, government pollution and things like that. Any questions about this? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Then we have the next. I, I, I question. I question. I have okay. a question. Is the exercise um, uh -huh. the number number five? So okay. It is. Um, is is more, many or much? Okay. What do you think? That everybody. The one that he finished this one. This is more, more, more. It's more. Yep. The right is more. No. Here is it. Is more. It score in... Oh. Ahora lo puede poner así. Mira, more con mayúscula. Bueno, esta es la misma que está acá. Solo hay que tener cuidado con los espacios, con las cajitas. Hay que tener mucho cuidado con los espacios. Si ponemos puntos, si ponemos algo que no va o que va de más, no la va a agarrar. Uh, sí, porque puse more y no, no, y no me, me dio incorrecto. Puede ser no por algo el... por el estilo. Lo más común es que se ponga un punto o que se ponga un espacio. Con una de esas dos cosas, ya no la agarro. Oh, sí, porque eh, yo lo dejé ahí porque no le pude, o sea, le puse more y nada. Ok, lo puede volver a hacer, puede regresar a esa parte del ejercicio, ponerle more y asegúrese de que oh. no tenga ex espacios ni nada por el estilo. Excelente, voy a intentarlo nuevamente. Porque ni yo estaba trabajando en la, en, la, en la plataforma y bueno, y ya avancé un poquito. Uh -huh. Ok, that's good, perfect. Sí, teacher. También lo que pudo haber pasado es que eh, al escribir more, le, se le escribió con mayúscula al principio y siendo parte de una oración, una parte central de la oración, entonces la toma como incorrecta. Eso pasa a veces. Según esto que tenemos acá, la podría poner con mayúscula y se la tendría que tomar, pero a veces no pasa, ¿verdad? A veces sí, eso, esas sí. cositas chiquititas son las que las que hacen que estas, las respuestas en las cajitas son las que tienen esas, esas cosas delicadas, ¿ok? Sí. Thank you for the comment. Yes. Ok. The next one, 2.6, this is an objective. Um, Ricardo, could you please help me reading? Ok. Learn how to ask and answer in indirect question in English, in the lesson, practice using indirect question by discussing, discussing and see our new destination by the end of the class, you will be able to form polite indirect question so, such as, could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nurse nearest nearest ATM is? Can you tell me how often the bus room? And do you know where I can catch the bus? This lesson will help you seek information using polite grammatically correct English. Okay, yes, this is for polite, right? When you want to ask something, oh. but uh, you need, uh, uh, you want to be like uh, a little bit formal on this one. So, and this is the little video about that one. We already checked on that. And this is the knowledge check. Uh, so, um, do you have any question about this knowledge check? Excuse me, teacher. Yep. I do this part of the exercises, but I don't found the another one that you show for this. Uh, which one? Um, 
the first when you ask about more, I don't find. I start with this. Oh, I did sure. this one and another that asks to ask to comparative. So um, let me see if I understand. You say that you didn't find that section here. The another one. I I did only this one. Ah, okay. So you didn't do the other one. No, the other one. No, I okay. understand the exercise, but I didn't. Okay. The other one is the 2.5. What you can do is go back into the platform and look after 2.4 and check if you can see that one. Si de alguna manera no está, entonces me avisa y vamos a ver qué podemos hacer. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, after this one, uh, we have a section number three. So we're going to wait for this to load. And here it comes. Okay, so uh, time for a change. Um, Elvis, could you please help me reading this one? Yeah, build your English language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Very good, thank you. So this is like uh, like that one. I mean, do you remember that we were talking about us and us, right? Like for us to compare, when we're comparing or too much, too many, too expensive, things like that. Uh, then after this one, we have the, the little video with the explanation. It aren't big enough and things like that. And then we have the knowledge check. Um, this was just to pick the correct answer. Do you have any question about this one? Oh. Okay, very good. So let's continue. Then we have lesson objective 3.3. .3. Uh, let's see. Nicholas, could you please help me reading this? Hello. Yeah, I guess we have some problems again, right, with the connection. Don't worry. Joanna, could you please help me reading this? Yes. Practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparison in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express sim similarities or differences. Additionally, learn how to use expression of quantity like just as enough or too much to modify adjectives and nouns for example just as just as com comfortable or too few closer closets very good perfect thank you so this is about uh, similar to the other one that we were checking uh not good or not big enough and things like that uh, and then after that, we have the knowledge check. And this one again is just to choose the correct answer. So depending on the situation that you want to express. Any questions about this knowledge check? No question. Good. Then we have the lesson objective uh, of 3.6. Gerardo, could you please help me reading this? Expressing wishes and desire is a big part of communicating with friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life, career, or health. This lesson from English teacher Joe Sands explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't like with my parents. I wish I had a different job, or I wish I were thinner. 
This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. Very good. So uh, this is about wish. As you remember, we check not only this, but other ways for you to uh, use wish. But, but now this is uh, more than enough. And then we have the knowledge check. Read and listen to the following conversations and answer the questions. So according to <clears throat> the conversations, we were going to answer these questions. Do you have any questions about the questions? <laughs> A lot of questions. No questions. And then uh, today. Hello, I, I. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. I. Estaba trabajando en esta. En este ejercicio, pero, pero, o sea, me quedé, no sé. Hasta ahorita estaba trabajando. Ah, ahorita lo lleva el proceso. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, se estaba escuchando los audios. Ok. Pero hasta ahí llegaba. Ok, very y good. Fue, y fue el, el, el examen medio. Yeah, the midterm test. The, this is actually the midterm test. So, after you finish the section three, uh, we need to do the uh, midterm test. It's supposed that today we have to finish this one, right? It's supposed. Uh, I hope everybody has finished. If you haven't finished, you have time. Just remember that uh, in two more weeks, the platform is going to be closed. So in two more uh, Thursday, not this one, but this the coming and the other one uh, is going to be closed at midnight and then you are not going to have access to that one. So that's why it's very important to go and try to finish this, okay? Okay. So this first part is a listening. Uh, it's kind of easy. It's just a few questions, four questions about a listening that we're going to have here. Do you have questions about this part? No, it's not working. Okay. Si alguno tiene alguna pregunta luego cuando lo está haciendo, pues ahí me escribe, ¿verdad? Y yo con gusto le ayudo. Uh, this one is the past tense. As you remember, we were talking about the past, uh, the past verb of the verb to be. So this is about that one. And uh, also the past of other verbs. Any questions mm -hmm. about this one? Question of teacher. Ask them. Okay. Then we have a vocabulary Before. and part. So this one is about choosing the correct option depending on what we are having here in the uh, spaces. Do you have any question about vocabulary part? Before, before they work in the platform. Then we have used to. So used to, as you remember, is similar to a simple past, but the difference is that this is about habits that you did or you didn't do before, right? So um, questions, the ones that finish this part? Before. Okay, after this one, we have word order for you to unscramble this one, right? And comment about this one, questions. Be careful about the spaces, right? Here in the spaces, if we um, enter a space that is, is it, sh it shouldn't be there, or a period or um, a capital letter is not going to give us the correct answer. Just be careful about that one. Actually, I tried in several times and write uh, the answer in a different way, but it, it always uh, took the, the answer as a wrong answer. So I don't know what happened there. Mm, something like that. Alguna cosa sí es lo que tuvo que haber sucedido. Eh, ¿Dónde lo está haciendo? ¿Qué browser? Google. And Chrome. Okay. Sí. Eh, lo que le recomiendo, si de plano no le agarra, es borrar esas dos respuestas. Borre cookies en la computadora. Y luego entra otra vez y la pone desde cero. Uh, y ahí se la tendría que agarrar. Ok. Ok. Lo voy a tratar de hacer nuevamente porque si sí lo hice y siempre me dio ese error. Uh, yes. Here are the answers. I mean, you can see that it's something like this. We should have more bicycle lanes. We should have more bicycle lanes. That is the same. Y este con minúscula. Son cosas bien mínimas las que cambian. También por poniendo o quitando el punto. A veces esa cosa es muy chiquita. 
la que, la que nos da la diferencia, ¿ok? Ok. Good, good. Then, we have the indirect questions part. This is for you to choose the correct answer depending on what you're talking. I mean, you are going to transform into an indirect question, the one that is there. Uh, any comments or questions about this? Okay. And the final part is of course, a reading. A reading about, uh, well, this is just a reading. And um, you just need to read and then check the correct answer. Questions about this part? No, teacher. Mm. Okay. No. So he, here in this part exactly is where we need to be. It suppose we we had to be, be uh, today, right? Today we have to be at least in this part. If you are um, before this part, you just need to work and get up to date. Uh, if you are after this part, well, you are doing very, very good, okay? Thank you. Good. Okay, so we're going to continue with the little homework that we had for uh, today. Question here is, who wants to be the first one? Nobody. This is the question. Okay. Let's see. Okay, but did you do the homework? I remember that we had a home. We have a homework, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> All right. This is what we're going to do. Okay. Everybody's going to tell your experiences, things that you have done, or things that you haven't done and you would like to, to do. And other person from the class is going to ask two questions according to what this person said. Okay. So everybody needs to pay attention so you can ask a proper question according to what the people have said. Do you do you get the idea of the exercise? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very well. So two questions at the end of this one. Um, let's see. We're going to listen first to Lorena. Okay. Um, one Sunday, several years ago, I was at home preparing to sleep when a co-worker called me on the phone to let me know that the factory where we worked was on fire. I was very scared and decided to call a friend to come with me to see the event and help if it's possible. An industrial plant full of clothes, carton and machinery was burning up in flames as high as a building. Uh, the firefighters were doing their job, but it was in vain because holes of the assets that company burned that night. The company was located in El Matasano, Soyapan. Okay, thank you. That was not good. I hope everything <laughs> is fine right now. Um, yeah, sometimes that happens. You know that here in Santa Ana, yesterday there was a fire, right? In the yeah. market, and yeah. it was, I, I didn't go, but I saw the videos and the uh, pictures and it was so bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. things like that happen mm -hmm. sometimes, but I hope everything is going well. Okay, um, the questions are going to be asked by, let's see, Gerardo. Two questions to Lorena about what you said. Well, uh, the first question is, has you started with that situation? Yeah, I'm, I'm too scared. It's a very bad situation. I, I don't think uh, uh, what, uh, what, what happened. Uh, is for for that situation but but uh, i uh, we understand we nothing understand what happened okay okay 
the second question is what do you feel now uh, i remember uh, the um, the 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 fire in in my uh, in my job in my uh, I, I I don't say that uh, uh, in in that company uh, uh, work uh, uh, fifty hundred more or less uh, person in uh, uh, that company. Um, uh, uh, Trasladó, to Santa Ana, uh, and uh, beginning uh, again, um, uh, yeah, and um, a lot of uh, workers uh, uh, don't, don't uh, lost lost uh, her job. Uh, 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 because the, no, uh, it, it's, it's, it's too, uh, uh, was uh, too uh, lejos <laughs> uh, in, in Santa Ana. Yeah, uh -huh. it was too far away. Uh -huh, far away. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you, thank you then. Okay. So that was uh, not a happy experience, but at least here we are right now, right? We survived the fiber and we survived the coronavirus by now. Yeah. Okay, thank you uh, for sharing, Lorena. Next one is uh, Carol. <laughs> um, I don't know, eh, no, no pude hacer la tarea, he eh, estado fuera de la casa. Oh, ok, ok. Pero será que nos comparte algo así, de lo que nos quiera compartir. Usando ¿Lo que hizo hoy? <risas> Sería una situación como experiencias que ha tenido en su vida. Por eso usamos el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? I have gone to Brazil, I have eaten this, okay. things, o cosas que no ha hecho que le gustaría hacer, como usando siempre el presente perfecto. ¿verdad? Ok. Um... I have, uh, um, I have, uh, mm, I have, uh, uh, I have a study, I have a study, uh, uh, no, I have continued study at the university, and the next year, uh, because I, um, En realización profesional. Ok, a professional. Professional, yes. Achievement. Yes. Uh, I, uh, I have continue career. Career. Career mm -hmm. en administración de empresas. Um, I, I have... Um, uh, I think uh, no hay límite. I think limited, but, but study. Okay, very good. Yeah, there is no limit. Yes, only. Very good. Okay, thank you for sharing, Carol. Um, okay. Questions are going to be made by um, Arely. Okay, what's your name? Uh, her name is Carol. Okay. Uh, you wish to study the next year? Hey. You wish to study the next year? Yes, I I wish to study next uh, year. What career? Uh, administration de empresas. Ah, continue. Yeah. Yes, continue. continue. Good. Okay. okay. Very well, thank you. Uh, the next one actually is Arely. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. 
Irene. For morning, mm -hmm. I have watched a program. A program I like. The name is an English E. I have been very relaxed all day because I haven't gone to work. I wish to continue my relax for night on, only. Okay. So the questions are going to be asked by Joanna. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't hear, hear her very well. I have some connection issues. Okay, don't worry. Uh, You're going to be the next uh, to ask. Uh, questions made by, let's see, Marilyn. Okay, um, whatever question. Any questions about what you said? I don't know. Um, Carol, let me see. Arely. Okay. Um, do you have a children? <laughs> okay. I don't have children. I have my daughter. Uh, one daughter. Okay. You have one daughter. Yes. Okay. Um, and the other question um, do you have travel to Spain? Have you traveled to Spain? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I traveled to Spain um, two years ago. I visited oh, uh, oh. to my daughter. Yes. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, which city did you visit there? Yes. Arely, uh, which uh, city? Yeah, okay, I visited Catalonia. Ah, so you were, were in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter lives in uh, Girona. Oh, okay, very good, nice. The, the language is different, right? Yes, uh, Catalan. Yeah. So you uh, you didn't go out by yourself, I guess, just with your daughter, so she can translate. My daughter uh, in this moment learn the language. Okay, very good. Yeah, I know it's similar but not the same, right? This has some difference. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, next one is uh, Gisela. Good night, everybody. I didn't mm -hmm. the homework, but I tried to speak about the my foundation. Okay. Uh, three good friends and my daughter. I have a foundation. I work about to prevent the abuse, the sexual abuse in the child and the teenagers. I have two years with to work to teach that they care that care about their their self so my best wish is we have became more change in the people to this problem and take conscience 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 yeah conscience to help to each other that had been hit by person um, the about the 99 percent the this child and teenager are are um, hit by by his father and mother and uncles and uh, so the house is house is um help for for they because it's the own family that hit them and don't I don't know oh. okay <laughs> yeah they get damaged damaged okay 
Well, that is an interesting thing. Uh, questions are going to be asked by Elvis. Okay. Um, have you helped vulnerable people? Um, we have to teach the the law and the place that they um, denounce the case. Beside, we explain the that no one is the guilty, culpable, guilty. Um, that they are a victims. Um, we have some some course about to understand the trauma. Trauma. Okay. Trauma is trauma. Trauma is trauma, okay. Of course that they they understand the trauma and learn to live, um, forget them, forget them and he expect a new life and he he learned to yearn um, como sueños the that he tried to change the life to to be a, a, a happy person and that learned she she helped to other children and teenagers that suffered the same. Okay. Interesting. And the next question? The next question is how have you felt to help people? Belt. I don't remember what's the mean belt. No belt, but felt. I felt. Excuse me. I can hear. I felt. How can I felt? Okay, repeat the question, please. Okay. How have you felt to help people? Ah. Uh, it's a pressure for me to 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 help another because it's been about thirty years ago that I work in this case and I never seen the change to the people. So with my foundation, I have I expect that we we have that we will have an impact in the society because we work for love, not for money. Okay. Very good, very interesting. Do you work with volunteers or do you just, uh, the ones from the foundation are the ones that go and teach? Okay. Bienvenido, <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, so we are going to be volunteers, <laughs> everybody, nice. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Gisela. Um, the next one is going to be Ricardo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, uh, I work in the Free Distribution Foundation. I am technical assistant in the production of food, vegetables, chicken, and fish. Okay. And what mm. about, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Finish. So you, can, you, can, you can share some experiences that you have lived. What? Yeah, the homework was to share some experiences that you have lived, that you have done. Uh, my experience is, is more important uh, the work in the, the um, which uh, working which is the the woman uh, the the ninety percent uh, percent uh, are 
woman. Okay. Okay, so, uh, Margarita, let's see if we can have some questions for him. Um, what was the impact for that percentage, percent that in the experience level for you? And the impact in percent. Percent? Yeah, percent. Percent. Um, that is, is, is 60, in 60, 17 percent, the impact is for uh, the, the living, living in, living full, medio de vida. Is this, teacher? Yeah, a level of life. Level of life, right. Is the impact is for a help on the woman, uh, help not the woman and the working for you, for you, uh, propios medios, como se dice? Own means. Own means. Uh, the impact is is more big. No, no, sé. It's grande. Impact grande. It's a big impact. Good. It's a big impact. And do you have any other question, Margarita? Um. What do you think that is the um? What do you think is the more in, the most important thing um, to to the work? I mean, to evaluate uh, women works and men works. What do you think? What is the most important thing to to make the choice to um, hire a woman or a man? Is for me more important is the uh, it's, co it, it's compared to in, in in women and men. Uh, and I made the, the question. Um, what do you think? Mm -hmm. um, what is the most important thing to to hire? someone uh, being a, a man or being a woman what is the most important thing um uh, uh, other 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 important uh, uh, uh more working in the uh, which woman is is for the production uh, is for production in in the uh, home home working is a woman if this is como se siempre está en la casa como se siempre está en la casa atendiendo always it's always at always home ah, no. siempre está en la casa entonces uh, the woman is is more important for a uh, uh, production uh, vegetable in the in the home okay perfect thank you very much for both um, next one is going to be Hilda okay teacher good night good evening um, good night um, I didn't know my homework but I will try to talk about the thing that I have done okay where the, excuse me uh, I have worked work kept in organization, no profit, since 2009, called call Fusalmo. But in my free time, I have run many, time, many times on the mountain. 
I never saw to do it, but I have done it. I continue to do it. I have traveled to uh, United States, many states, like Los Angeles, Minnesota, Vegas, Washington DC, San Francisco, San Francisco, Houston, but I have not traveled to Turkey. But I would you like to travel to Turkey as soon as possible after COVID pass. Good. Only that teacher. <laughs> Good plan. Yes. Thank you. Um, let's see questions. Uh, Lorena. Um, uh, what cities uh, do you know in your travel in the a lot of travel. <laughs> or, or, or what city uh, is the most uh, beautiful for you or more interesting for you? But in the United States, um, the state very different, are very different because uh, each state is, is, is diff different because the house, the the town um for example los angeles uh, is are is many um place like uh, studios park um uh, and studios um for example is the four center the from the lakers and is 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 how do you say diverse to teacher? Diverse. Diverse. Yes. And Minnesota is very different, but uh, this state like I like it so much because it's very quiet. Um is very the 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 house very the 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 weather is very I like because it's it's cool, it's cool. Uh, my favorite say, I think is San Francisco because uh, never, uh, never teacher. Snow. It snowed, uh, it never snowed, but it's cool all time. It's, it's, I like the, the state. Okay. But, but I, I like, I would do like uh, to travel to Turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Istanbul. Istanbul is so nice. It, it's my dream. <laughs> <laughs> After COVID pass. <laughs> yeah, we have time. We just need to be careful <laughs> about that. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And the other question, Lorena? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's that is Pusalmo? Is, um, Pusalmo? Yes, Pusalmo is an organization, no profit. It's a uh, work for the the job and child, but attend the family, the city city very difficult um the um then you some, for example, Toyapango. Uh, Santa Ana, San Miguel. Pusalmo uh, help very much uh, the the youth, the youth, the juventud, okay. the youth, the youth, and family. Mm -hmm. uh, attend the the youth. La um, each uh, many many areas. For for example. Uh, um, valores, values, technical, technical, career, technical career. For example, uh, in a call center, um, and cajero de de banco. Uh, teller, bank teller. Uh, bank teller. And different programs, but uh, offer the job. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much for uh, your sharing. Okay, thank you, teacher. 
Next Thank you, Lorena. Going... Okay. Next one is going to be Elvis. Hello, everyone. I'm Hello. going to talk about an experience that I have lived one month ago. I have gone hiking and it was really tired, but I have enjoyed each time that I spent with that I spent with my friends and some relatives at all. I have some other experience like I have swam and on the at the pool. I have run in a park. I have studied another languages like Russian and Portuguese and French. I cannot talk them and I cannot speak them, but I like to discover new things. And those languages have taught me about the diff diff diversity of culture that we have in this world. So basically, I like to learn new cultures. But first, you want to get involved in them. You have to learn first their languages. So I am crazy about languages. And I hope as soon as I finish to learn English, I want to learn uh, French. And I have, I have been learning these languages, but just to discover new cultures, like that's all. Perfect, thank you. Questions are going to be made by Carol. I, um, no. Eh, <laughs> uh, you, no. No, no sé cómo hacer la pregunta. Try, that's why we are here, to practice. Um, si se equivoca, no importa. Aquí la vamos a corregir y, y después ya no se va a equivocar. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> ¿Qué quiere preguntar? Vale, la vamos a ayudar. Vamos um, a dar copia. Um, Sin pena. <risa> Usted hágale en español y la vamos a transformar, va, entre todos. Vale. Este. Eh, lo que le entendí es que él eh, se tiene. No, ¿cómo fue? Maybe es que it's, el, it's very important not try to uh, not try to translate. So, this is the thing. Uh -huh. You understood some parts, right? Mm -hmm. So you are going to ask questions about what you understood. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not possible to understand everything. More when you are talking in a different language sometimes. I mean, communication is like that. Uh, that's why we do this practice. I mean, this practice is a real practice because everybody's sharing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes because of different reasons, sometimes we don't understand everything. That is not a problem. But if you understand two, three things, you can ask questions about that one. Okay. <laughs> Ahora sí pregunte. No, mejor no. <laughs> okay, vaya, la vamos a dejar, pero tiene que practicar. It's very important yes. to practice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask you, Elvis, okay? Um, no, no, let's see. Um, Joanna, I know Joanna has some questions for you. Yes. Um... Have you ever uh, how do you think, climbed um, any volcano from here, from El Salvador? Mm, yes, I have. I climb. I have climbed the. Uh, let me let me remember. It's Bocaron. Yeah, I have climbed it. Good, perfect. Okay. And the other question? Um, have you ever go uh, gone to another country and try to 
uh, put in practice your skills for languages? Mm, no, I haven't. But I would like to tr travel to another country and learn and learn English with a native speaker from different languages. So it's a it's a, a long term action that I would like to that I would like to do it. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Next one is Margarita. Okay. Um, um, I want, I have lived in USA for one year um, for study and improving my English. But at the same time, I was working there like a babysitter. It was uh, between 2015 to 2016. It was a, like a break from my university studies to, to have that opportunity to keep practicing my English and pre practice there in immediately because uh, I was living with the family as I was the babysitter. So I, I, um, I get the classes there. Then I, I went to the, the host house and practice what I learned with the children. At the same time, I had them to make their homeworks. Okay, very interesting, nice. Okay, uh, <laughs> questions are going to be made by uh, Nicolas. I don't know if it's possible. Uh, I don't know, when, in, in what year or do you still live in the United States or here in Salvador? Can you repeat it, please? Can you repeat the question? I couldn't hear you clear. Yeah, I guess Nicholas has some problems with the connection. Don't worry. Yes. Okay, the questions are going to be made by, let's see, uh, Flora. Okay. Um. What do you um, actually work for? Good question. Um, well, I'm not working right now. I'm looking for a job. Um, but uh, um, I, I wish I can work in my career area that it's a kindergarten teacher or or doing um how can i say um conferences teach? conferences conference to teach other teachers how to some some different methods to teach the children because i I finished my career as a license in education, but my specialty is in ki in kindergarten education. Okay, perfect, thank you. And the other question, Flora? No, did you? Okay, just one, that's good. The next one is going to be Gerardo. Thank you, Margarita. Okay. Is a little okay. I have traveled to four countries in Central America, but I have not traveled to Belize because um, I don't inter interested in this country. Uh, also, I have not had a pet because my family is allergic. Mm -hmm. um, I am 
I have no try switching. Okay, interesting, good. Questions made by, let's see, Marilyn. Well, Marilyn went away. Okay, questions uh, will be made by Sandra. Hello. Not here, okay. Hilda, could you please ask some questions to Gerardo? Hey teacher, but I, I didn't hear very well, but I guess I, the Gerardo says, um, travel to Central America? Central America, all the countries is yes. Belize. Okay, what country do you like, do, uh, do you like more? I like um, Panama. Really? Um, yes. What place do you like in Panama? The, the place is, is, I don't remember the name, but it's on the beach. The beach? Okay. Yes, yes. But Very it's nice. uh, artificial beach. Okay. Oh, really? And oh, interesting. The, and the canal. The canal de Panama. Yes. Canal de Panama. Nice. Ah, nice. Thank you, Gerardo. Only that, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, okay we're almost done. Uh, Joanna, please. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um. Yes. I have traveled just one time to Guatemala. Guatemala. I didn't travel before, and that was my first time. I was planning to travel last year, but uh, for my vacations, I want to visit Roatan, but <laughs> due to the pandemic, I couldn't. Um, I have never traveled outside Central America, just Guatemala. But someday I like to travel to Europe or South Korea. I have to study Korean, <laughs> but I want to finish with English first. Of course. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Questions will be made by Elvis. Okay. Which country would you like to visit apart from South Korea? Well, I really like all Asian, um, so I want to travel to Japan or China. Okay. okay. Have you studied English before? Yes, I did. I, I have, I'm sorry. Yes, I have. I'm just trying to improve my pronunciation, my grammar skills, and things like that. Very good. Thank you. Um, then it's going to be Sandra de Sanchez is here. I guess she's not here. Uh, Marilyn. Um, in my experience here, um, uh, my experience um, first of all, um, my son was born in 2018. Um, he has two years old. Also, um, in my future, I work in a, I will work in a call center, and I will make more money. Um, only that. Only that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, one question, just uh, one, because we don't have much time. Gisela. I can hear she. I can hear she. Yeah, it was kind of difficult, the connection. Anybody wants to ask a question? Anybody here? Hello? 
anybody. Okay, I will ask you a question, Marilyn. Uh, what kind of job would you like to have? In the future. Yeah, in the, okay. Okay, um, in, in the future, I will work in a call center. And today I work in a company pharmaceutical. Okay. Okay, yeah. very good. Thank you. And uh, I guess the last one is Flora. Flora? Once uh, we went to the beach with my family uh, to a ranch, and I had to take a membership, and we did not, we did take it. So we have to pay extra for our ranch. And by the way, ugly. So it was expensive. Yeah, and I will, and I would like to go to the beaches of Central America too. Very good. So questions, Gerardo. What beach did you visit? Um, I would like to go at Honduras. Okay. And the next question. Okay, just that. Okay, uh, my friends, this was an interesting experience. As you can see, communication is important, right? As I was telling you before, sometimes it's kind of difficult to, to express ourselves. Sometimes it's difficult to understand because the other people, they speak in different ways. So that's why we are learning English, not only because of the grammar and pronunciation, because also we want other people to understand our ideas, right? and that you are able to ask questions and get interested in that one. So we're going to continue practicing into that. Um, uh, just remember some grammar things like uh, the auxiliars and things like that, all the tenses when you are speaking in that. Uh, sometimes you mixed uh, simply past with the present perfect or the continuous with other things. So remember that even if your pronunciation is good or even if your uh, words are fine if the grammar is not correct uh, probably the other people is not going to understand of course uh, we are learning so we just need to practice more that is the most important part okay um do you have any questions no. okay so um we're going to continue next monday uh, please continue with the um with the platform and uh we're going to move on this incoming Monday. I hope you have a very good weekend and have a good night as well. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good day. So do you. Bye-bye.